Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we are again looking at SPRT. I know I did not make a video on this stock on Friday, so for that reason it is coming up tonight, being as it is Sunday. So in this one I want to give it a quick analysis like we do on Friday, look at some of the latest news, and being as it's Sunday, give a few of my personal opinions going forwards into tomorrow, which is obviously Monday. If that all sounds good, make sure to leave a like on the video and do subscribe to this channel. We are actually fast approaching 12.6 thousand subscribers thank you for all the support we are trying to get to 13,000. so if you can share this with as many people as possible it would be lovely do remember it is not financial advice and it's only my personal opinion but yes now we're going to jump into this one and look at sprt what we have been seeing in the past week and the info that we do have for sprt stock where i want to start us off actually is by looking at what we have seen on friday because we have actually seen a decrease in price for sprt sprt went down by about 20% you can see the exact figure down here is 19.29% and this was down by about $5.02 and this is actually kind of surprising to a lot of people because what we saw on Friday was something very nice for SPRT. SPRT actually had their merger approved, you know, the merger which a lot of people were talking about and seeing as a catalyst. Well, yeah, that went through on Friday, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough to heat the share price up. Now, why has this fallen in the way it has? I have a few opinions as to why that is, especially when we have seen what we have seen on Friday. The first one could be just because of what we have been seeing over the past week. You know, we had Friday of last week, which was September the 3rd. We were sat at a price of 21 dollars you know we we're doing completely fine we had a dip on the tuesday when the markets opened again it down to the mid part of tuesday so about 12 p.m and again from there we had growth 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 all week until actually friday morning if not thursday evening so we had big growth for the majority of the week. Again, it could just be a bit of a sell-off as people are taking profits before the weekend and all that sort of stuff. And obviously the other thing which could have happened is people are just, you know, using this as a quick term trade and saw this as a catalyst, saw the catalyst and got out before it happened or once it happened and made a decent amount of money in there. Because bear in mind, if you bought here or here or even here, to be honest, or perhaps even along here, you could have made some decent money, uh, you know, in the Thursday if you were day trading or if you'd have bought, you know, for the week you could have bought in early on Tuesday and held them till the highs on Thursday so it does make sense that a bit of a sell-off was going to happen in my opinion. Now what I want to focus on is what we are seeing for interest for SPRT because we do have good figures over here. We're going to start off on stock twits which I have mentioned before isn't necessarily the best indication of you know what is going on in the markets but it does tell us what people are saying about the stock and how people are talking about it. We can see stock twits data for today which is obviously Sunday. Bear in mind uh, the markets are not open today so there is not really any reason for people to be talking about stocks anyway but yeah we are actually seeing uh, the message volume being up today which is good we can see message volume has been recovering most recently which is fantastic as well a few reasons for that because obviously the price comes up people want to talk about it more more and more people are going to be finding out, out about the stock the amount of members that we have for this stock right now on stock twist is 34,650 again sentiment is coming up it was quite bearish when we had that decrease in price again not necessarily the best indication of what people in general are thinking Thinking, but it just shows the data that we have from stock twist so the price is down message volume is up and all that sort of good stuff is up as well when it comes to sentiment now what we have is data from Google Trends and you guys will know I speak about Google Trends quite a bit because it does show us how, what people are searching for when it comes to the stock and how many people are searching for it we have the search term here, SPRT, you know, just SPRT. You could type in SPRT stock, but I just typed in SPRT, and it shows us what people are searching for and how they are searching for it. Well, the data is starting to get interesting up here. We can see how the stock has been searched for over the past few months, and we had a big pump up in searches from the period between the 21st and 27th of March. Then we had interest return to a little bit above average levels, but quite low again. And then obviously it has been building up from the period from about about July the 18th all the way up to here where you saw big interest uh, on the date July the 15th to 21st and from the 21st up until the date of the 28th we had a massive explosive interest now most recently from the 29th to the 4th we have seen that interest remain it did take a dip of one point but right now it is anticipated that the data could be dropping a bit lower again data from this period has been partially completed as it says down here so it's not 100% uh, complete but we are seeing this data still being quite high for a SPRT. Now, the actual data for the short interest, I have had a look at it. I think it is really promising, to be honest, guys. I think we do have potential to see this stock go up and up and up in the future. However, 
I'm just talking about this from a data standpoint and obviously if we want to see a short squeeze or a massive push up in price it's going to take more than that. The data is fine but if the interest is not there I do not believe it is going to happen. If we can see sustained interest into the next few weeks I think we are in a prime position to see this one potentially push higher but again it all depends on that interest level and what people are thinking about the stock. If people continue to hold and buy I think we have you know like I said the potential to push higher. If that isn't the case we may fall a bit lower. So now let's move on to the technical analysis and then give a few of my predictions into this week. So let's start off here on the one day charts and the one day chart will show us a clear trend, the downwards. We can see that the moving average for the Friday was set at 21.44, we have seen an RSI figure of 38. 38 is quite low, bear in mind guys 20 is considered oversold. We are a fair bit away from that but we're definitely coming close to that side and that is because we were decreasing in price for the whole of Friday. The MACD trend down here is shown as quite a bearish line, we can see those, those lines crossing over so trend is bearish and it is obviously below the line and again that is because we have been seeing a fall sustained throughout the whole day. Now what we saw towards the end of day ever so slightly if you see down here is a little bit of flat action uh, perhaps even a tiny tiny bit of a recovery not really anything to mention really but we are seeing a subsequent tick upwards towards the end of the day on the MACD because of that. Now we'll have a look out to the five day chart and what the five day chart does show us and we can see some more clear figures you know the five day chart shows us the whole week and gives us some more perspective. The five day chart is showing us a moving average of 22.16 that is above where we are right now at 20.96 but only by about $1.20 roughly so it's not really too bad in my opinion and again this is a lagging indicator it definitely was caught out by the push downwards that we saw on Friday and that is why it is above where we are right now. Now, now let's have a look at the RSI figure for this period and we can see it is sat at 25. Now 25 is literally 5 points away from being oversold. We are definitely coming close to it on the 5 day and that is clearly because we have had that negative movement on Friday which has brought this figure down significantly. And the MACD trend is actually bearish. We can see it was getting a bit more bearish towards the end of week as you would expect with this uh, particularly harsh sell off on the Friday. So technical indicators are looking a bit bearish in my opinion. Again, we're very, very close to that RSI being oversold and we can see uh, the MACD is looking bearish in my opinion. Now let's talk about what we could be expecting into next week. Well, first things first, like I said, we had a big push up in the past week because a lot of people were probably anticipating good things from this merger and a lot of people are treating SPRT as a speculative play anyway. Don't get me wrong, guys, the merger is good news, but the reason why I haven't focused on it too much fundamentally is because I know a lot of people with SPRT are not really looking at this company from a fundamental standpoint. That's completely fine, but it also means that the way that a lot of people wish to play this stock is completely different because you know a lot of people are looking to this with a short term approach. A lot of people will have probably thought we can get in at the lows and get out at some point later in the week when we see a price rise. And again, that is why I think we have sustained this drop. But the plus side of that is, I think a lot of people could potentially be getting back into SPRT uh, you know, into the next week as we do see a much lower price right now. Again, the numbers don't lie, the numbers are looking good. If we can see the interest remain and see some consolidation into Monday, I would be very, very happy with that. We don't want the price to drop too much lower because I do believe that could start off some panic selling and obviously that would kind of be, well, it would be very detrimental to the movement. So hopefully we do not have too much of a drop into Monday. I would be looking for a relatively flat consolidation day. A small drop wouldn't matter or a small increase wouldn't matter too much either. Again, if we fall down to this levels that we have been seeing before the high 18s that's completely fine as well in my opinion but i wouldn't really be looking to go any lower than that as i think this could be perceived very very negatively now when it comes to pushing up Again, if we do see a bit of a bullish week, I would love to see the first few days being consolidation. That would be fine. It would set us on a nice basis uh, for where we could be heading into the next week. But if we could see a little bit of a climb starting perhaps on Tuesday and then a bit of a push up and up and up, that would be very nice. Just some slow and steady growth would get people talking. It potentially would get that FOMO kicking in and that definitely could have some very good effects as well. But ultimately, I think we're looking for a very green week or a very green few days in the week to get people talking about the stock and hopefully to, and hopefully to get that FOMO kicking in and more and more people wanting to buy this company. Again, just my personal opinions, guys. It is not financial advice, but do tell me yours down below. I want to hear all of those in the comment section. Again, share this video with a friend or a family member. It would be appreciated. And I will see you all again very soon. Goodbye. Thank you for watching through till the end. But let me tell you about our Discord. 
So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously it is split into multiple sections. Basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon